All other things, ushers adapt quickly. It's one thing I tried to teach them, the art of the pivot. When life hands you lemons. Make lemonade. No. First, you roll out a multimedia campaign to convince people lemons are incredibly scarce, which only works if you stockpile lemons, control the supply, then a, a media blitz. Lemon is the only way to say I love you, the must-have accessory for engagements or anniversaries. Roses are out, lemons are in, billboards that say she won't have sex with you unless you've got lemons. You cut the beers in on it, limited edition lemon bracelets, yellow diamonds called lemon drops. You get Apple to call their new operating system OS Lemon. Little accent over the O, you charge 40% more for organic lemons, 50% more for conflict-free lemons. You pack the capital with lemon lobbyists. You get a Kardashian to suck a lemon wedge in a leaked sex tape. Timothy Chalamet wears lemon shoes at Cannes. Get a hashtag campaign. Something isn't cool or tight or awesome. No, it's lemon. Did you see that movie? Did you go to that concert? It was effing lemon. Billy Eilish, OMG, hashtag, lemon. You get Dr. Oz to recommend four lemons a day and a lemon suppository supplement to get rid of toxins because there's nothing scarier than toxins. Then you patent the seeds. You write a line of genetic code that makes lemons look just a little more like tits and you get a gene patent for the tit lemon DNA sequence. You cross pollinate. You get those seeds circulating in the wild, and then you sue the farmers for copyright infringement when that genetic code shows up on their land. Sit back, rake in the millions, and then when you're done, and you've sold your empire for a few billion dollars, then, and only then, you make some fucking lemonade.